Hey, if you click this video, chances are you've heard this beat. I'm also willing to bet that you've probably seen the shadow art that accompanies it. Bad Apple. The video is legendary, but also very complex. There are things to look at, like its origins as a 16-bit song, the remix that resulted from it, where the idea of the video even came from, the video itself, and of course, the impact this video had on both the internet and the Toho fanbase as a whole. This is Bad Apple. Explain. The song Bad Apple originates from the fourth Toho game, Toho Lotus Land Story. It plays at the gates of a mansion across a bloody lake. The composer of the song, Zoon, also made the entire rest of the game, by the way. Describes it as a song that sounds like something he made long ago, rather than when the game itself was made. Perhaps this distinctness is the reason that Bad Apple became the standout track of Toho 4. And yet, this isn't the version that became famous. In 2007, the Dojin Circle, Alice Stromera Records released the album Love Light, mainly a compilation of Toho remixes. What's really cool about Toho is that the creator, Zoon, is extremely supportive of its fan communities. Because of this, releases of things like fan games, albums, and manga happen all the time, and he doesn't make a sense. There's no legal hoops to jump through to release Toho remixes, just some guidelines Zoon asks you to follow. Back to the album. Of the songs remixed, Bad Apple is the only one that has lyrics and vocals to go with it. It's also very different from its original counterpart, with only two identifiable sections being from the original song. Despite the deviations this song makes, it still manages to create some really addicting hooks. Hell, this part of the song is probably more iconic than anything from the original Bad Apple. The lyrics within the song speak of a person's struggles against finding self-worth, their disconnect from society, and the depression that results from this. From the sadness, they try to feel nothing, to remain in a neutral state. The sadness they feel is darkness. But if they change the side of themselves, they'd be left in light. Darkness is part of what makes them unique, but it's still sad to live through. To contrast that, the light isn't sad, but it would leave them as an empty husk, or as T.S. Eliot might put it, a hollow man. So, they choose to embrace apathy. This seems very dark for what was previously a very upbeat melody, but perhaps the reason the song is so different from the original is because the lyrics are so dark. The mood is completely different. But it's not necessarily worse. This is the reason this song became the hit of the album. With its dramatic themes and addicting melodies, Bad Apple solidified itself as an imperishable hit. And of course, Nomiko does a fantastic job bringing these lyrics to life. So then, where did the video come from? It wasn't from the Dojin Circle itself. Instead, a fan of the arrangement with the username Moo uploaded a storyboard with the title Bad Apple. Someone animate this, please. It's a concept of a video where the apple's at the center, and it's being thrown around to different Toho characters in the first 10 games. The art within the storyboard? Well, let's just say it's about on par with Toho 6. But there is a clear vision here. Now, if only someone would animate it. And that's what happened. 
From when the video was uploaded in 2008, there were a ton of attempts that anime in the video. It was a fun challenge, and a good storyboard provided a great framework. But then, on October 27th, 2009, from user Anira, the definitive version of the video released. This video is fantastic on multiple levels. But before I talk about more specific aspects of it, I want to talk about some of the more general things the video does. The use of shadow art is genius. Toho is a series about yin and yang, something the video is well aware of. The contrast between black and white works within the series, but also within the song. Remember the struggle between light and darkness? Light and dark are the only colors in the video. It's linked to the song this way. Though that doesn't mean the lyrics match what the characters do on screen. Instead, the characters are arranged in a way that's a showcase of the main Toho franchise. Each of them has a unique take on the dance beat. While the stoic samurai Yomu stays serious and poised with their sword, the ghost princess Yuyuko bounces along to the song, as she's much more playful. Reimu starts the song off throwing an apple to her best friend Marissa, but then Marissa selfishly litters the apple onto the Scarlet Mansion. It fits all these characters perfectly, but non-Toho fans don't know that. Instead, they're intrigued by the actions of the characters. Before I was a Toho fan, this one frame always sent chills down my spine. And now that I know who she is, yeah, those chills are well deserved. Bad Apple isn't just a love letter to Toho fans, but also a welcome letter to new ones. It shows off a ton of characters players have the potential to meet, and a fitting action shows the character's personality. But it's important that these new characters are presented as shadows. The shadows not only fit thematically, but it also gives the video its own identity. There's nothing else quite like it, and that's worth the watch alone. Now, for a few more specific things I noticed from the video, and I think this is more on the storyboard. I'm not going to talk about who every character in the shadows are, there's plenty of videos that do that. Instead, I'm going to focus on the way certain characters are composed. I already talked about how Reimu throws the apple to Marissa. Their bond is emphasized early on in the video. This apple falls into the mansion, and the people who live in said mansion get their scenes. The apple doesn't transition to random arrangements of characters. It's organized in a very precise manner. The next big thing that sticks to my mind is the transition from the sixth verse. The Prism of Her Sisters are musicians from the Toho universe who love to perform. The idea that they're the ones backing this track is pretty genius. This is followed by a montage of several animal characters from Toho until, bam, Racing appears. The most popular of the animals gets the spotlight. Why is this important? It's not. I just like Racing. But maybe this is important in a weird way. If you're a Toho fan, it's cool to see what your favorite character is doing. Finally, there's the ending. Near the end of the song, a shift in key is accompanied by Yuka, a prominent figure in both modern and classic Toho. It then transitions to the character Ellie. She's only been in classic Toho, but her stage is where Bad Apple comes from. She's also in the same game as Yuka, so the transition makes sense. And then... This is classic Reimu. Like many media, Toe's gone through its redesigns over the years. Classic Reimu is a bit different from her modern counterpart. She extends her arm out towards a witch. That's classic Marissa. They reach towards each other, and the Ying Yang ball forms. The video ends with their modern counterparts in the reverse of how the video started. 
And also, just like the start, there's an emphasis on the relationship between Reimu and Marissa. They've been connected for a long time, even in the classic era. They lead the franchise together. So, with the video itself out of the way, we can take a look at its impact. The video, deservedly, blew up, and helped usher in a new wave of Toho fans. The original Dojin Circle that released the Bad Apple remix incorporated the video into things like performances, and still make remixes of Bad Apple to this day. The video itself has been parodied to death. The Undertale one is probably the most famous, but there's plenty of others. The song's gotten a lot of arrangements, with the English cover by Christina B arguably being the most well-known. Then, she did another cover eight years later with Richard E.B. And two years after that, she did one again with Richard E.B., but in Japanese, and it emulates the original Bad Apple video. Dang. That's three covers of the same song or originating from one video. The song's left its mark for sure, though some Toho fans are a bit miffed over it. It gets played to death, and it's not uncommon for people to say their favorite Toho song is Bad Apple, but then know nothing else. But I still think it should be appreciated. Why do I think this? Well... Bad Apple can't happen from any other video game fan base. It needs one where the creator of a series actively encourages their fans to use their property to grow talent. It needs the type of fans who take a request to animate something seriously. And it also still needs the right amount of exposure to become huge. And this is part of what makes Toho so great. It's all of these things. There's no other series or fan base quite like it. Sans one particular exception, but he was also inspired by Zune. As the video's history shows, everything that led up to Bad Apple was a result of both the creator of Toho and the passionate fans. If it weren't for the video, I wouldn't even be a Toho fan, and I'm sure that goes for a lot of other people. So, thank you, Zune. Thank you, Alstromera. Thank you, Nomiko. Thank you, Moo. Thank you, Anira. Thank you, Remixers. And thank you, Toho fanbase. There's no other phenomenon quite like Bad Apple, but it's important to remember. It didn't just come from one person, it came from decades of them.